Hello, so following on from the last video, I'm going to add a little bit more detail to this head sculpt and then we're going to add some custom brushes where we can start adding some skin details. So I'm going to bump the Dynamesh up slightly, so I'm going to do about 300 and then press enter and read Dynamesh. Okay, so I'm just going to start smoothing out some of these areas. And we're going to go back to that clay polish. So if I can polish the entire model so clay polish that's pretty good and then I'm gonna go back into Damien standard and make some small adjustments there we go and now I want to show you the skin um, I've just noticed I need to just pinch these lips just slightly what have we got it set to 20 no 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 let's bring that down that looks a bit better. There we go. So just use that pinch tool whenever you need to pinch those two lines together. And I can just see with the ears there, I might need to soften that up slightly. Apart from that, that's looking pretty good. Okay, so let's add some skin details. So we're going to go up here onto our brush menu and we're going to load a brush. So within the folder that's on the OneDrive, there's a folder there called Skin Brushes. If you download all of them, then you're going to have access to all of these skin textures. So let's say, for example, we look at a Skin Pattern. So let's just double click on that. So it's already loaded the brush, the way it's going to react onto the model. So it's set to spray. And then this is the alpha that's going to um, sculpt onto this model. So I'm going to try and sculpt in the areas where I think the skin texture would work quite well. So in this case, part of the mouth here. Now I don't want to go too much. I don't want to just constantly paint all over the model. Uh, there's a little bit too much texture there. So just use this sparingly. And when you come to texture this, you might actually lose some of these details. So this looks quite cool as the sculpt, but you may actually lose it when we start texturing. Intensity, we can set this a little bit higher. I uh, had it set to 8. So here, just below the eye, uh, we might need to increase that slightly. That's looking pretty good. Let's move down here. Again, that's a little bit too much. And we want to layer this, so we're not just going to use this entire brush for uh, all of the model. So again, let's bring that intensity down. That's a bit better. And I'm going to switch over to a different brush. So what else have we got? Let's load a new brush. And we've got a noise, cheek paws, could be a good one. Compress paws, spikes, uh, photo rough paws. Let's have a look at this one. So this one's actually going to drag, so I'm going to increase the intensity here. Right, so that's the effect it has. So I might use this somewhere around here. And just underneath here. Yeah, so it can be very subtle. Let's try a new one. And you can load all of these brushes if you want to. You can just select all of them for now. I'm just going to select the ones I think I might use. Uh, standard carve, let's have a look at that. Okay, so that's going to carve into this. This might be quite good for the nose area here, just to bring this out a little bit more. There we go. Uh, let's experiment with the new one, load brush. Um, let's try the reptile skin might work quite well. So I'm just going to increase the brush size. Whoa! That is intense. So I'll only want this near the mouth, I think. There we go. Okay, let's try a different one. What else have we got? Um, Rough smoky paws, uh, cheek paws, 
Under the eyes. Yes, let's try this one. What does this look like? That looks pretty good. So at this stage, I'm going to go back into Damien Standard and just start to sculpt into this a little bit more. So I'm going to add some of those wrinkles there. I'm going to set this to Add by default. So let's try and find a different reference here. Uh, maybe this one. Try and find a good one for the eyes. Uh, this one isn't too bad there. Look at that. Got a lot of detail there that we could add. So keep flicking through your reference. Like I said, they're all going to be slightly different if it's not taken from the same photo. So cross-reference and then think about the details that you're going to add. As you can see this Damien Standard does a really good job at just pinching the edge and raising that geometry. So I might just use that pinch just to bring in the nose slightly. Yeah, that looks better. And if you don't want it to look the same on both sides, then you can just turn that symmetry off. You can go to Transform, Activate Symmetry, or you can just press X on the keyboard. If you want to make some slight differences on each side. Okay, then let's go back and add some more details. So I'm going to load a brush again. Let's just try something else. Let's look at creature skin. Could be quite interesting. Yeah, that's cool. And use that underneath the eyes there. And let's go back to that other reference. I think I remember the wrinkles being just that it right there. That's the one. I might just try that clay polish again. Let's just see what that does. It actually removes quite a lot of the detail, so I'm just going to undo that. Uh, do we have any? We've got softness. Let's try this again. No. Um, whoa. We don't want that much of an edge. 
Let's have a look. Clay polish again. Yeah, I think we'll keep it the way it is. And I'll continue using the Damien standard just to start sculpting into this area here. Let's have a look. Damien standard increase intensity. That's it. Okay, so that just about does it for the face. You can continue adding more details if you like. Uh, experiment with these brushes and continue adding any kind of sculpted details to the uh, surface of the skin. And now I'm going to move on to just adding a little bit of a bust here. So what am I going to do? I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to create a mask first. I'm going to select the standard brush. And I'm going to hold control and left click and drag in the area that I'm going to drag down. So let's have a look. Um, yeah, that looks about right. Uh, maybe even just a little bit higher up here. About there. And then control, left click and drag away from the model. And you can control left click on the model if you want to soften that selection a little bit more. And then we're going to go to the move tool and push this down. Like so. And you could also <laughs> extrude outwards if you wanted to. Um, in fact, that might be okay. So let's just try that. So I've just deselected and now I've re dynameshed. Let's just use this move tool and try and create a body. So I'm just going to extrude this outwards. Push this back up. find a better image. This one's not too bad. Um, yeah, I think we'll use this one. So we just need to pull those shoulders out. So I'm just going to create a mask and then just move this out myself. There we go. then deselect and smooth Now I might just use the trim dynamic here just to try and trim away this bottom section. And then redynamesh. Let's trim this, redynamesh and smooth. Redynamesh again, keep smoothing. Then I'll use the inflate tool. So you can see the higher we go when we dynamesh, the harder it is to smooth and bring this back to a flat surface. So keep that in mind, always model lower poly first. Whoop, 
<laughs> still got inflate on. see this part of the neck actually comes down here so I'm going to sculpt that in Okay, there we go. So I'm just going to continue using this move tool and just try and get a little bit of a better shape here. Let's pull this down. So don't worry about the bottom section because we're not going to see it and we're also going to use this as a concept so we can actually use an image instead of using this sculpt. But I'm just going to try and get a rough shape with this torso anyway. Push this in. Let's use that Damien standard again. Okay, that's getting there. By the way, if you hear fireworks in the background, um, that's because there are a lot of fireworks <laughs> outside. So I'm not under attack, they're just fireworks. <laughs> okay. Right, so let's just use Trim Dynamic on the back just to try and remove some of this. Let's re mesh and continue smoothing. Could even use a little bit of a H polish there just to polish that away. a little bit better right so let's keep this the way it is that's looking okay let's just add a little bit more detail here I am going to go back into the brush and the details so let's have a look creature skin was a pretty good one let's just add some little details here we probably won't see it again when we start adding our texture but why not? Let's add it in now. Let's go back to this one. So I think that just about does it there. If I go into my uh, geometry panel and press divide, that's going to divide this mesh and now it's going to be very detailed. So if you want to add even more details, then you can do it this way.
okay so I'm just using that Danian standard adding a little bit more detail if you hold shift and smooth it is going to remove any of these surface details so just keep that in mind you may need to add them back on should just about do it for this video so in the next video I'm going to move on to applying textures and then we're going to add the fur onto onto this uh, chimpanzee so that's going to be very cool almost instant results there we're going to then render that out put it into Photoshop and then start to paint into it and just add some small details and again, we can start adding that, that face paint onto it. For now, we're going to leave this here and move on to texturing. So I will see you in the next video.